59 days, 20 talented three-year-old Colts will burst out of the gate at Churchill Downs in the 145th Kentucky Derby. Some of those Colts were slated to run prep races at Santa Anita Park in Arcadia, California. But after an alarming streak of racehorse deaths there, the prep season at Santa Anita is very much in doubt. This time last year, a talented bay colt named Battle of Midway uncoiled his massive stride and flashed down the home stretch in four straight races at Santa Anita Park. Battle of Midway tries to hold out. Stamping himself as one of the favorites for the upcoming Kentucky Derby. Now the once fleet footed horse is dead, one of 22 steeds to break down since Christmas week at Santa Anita Park. The unprecedented deaths prompted protests by animal rights activists outside the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office. This is likely a violation of cruelty to animals laws, and that's what needs to be investigated. It's not enough to have the California Horse Racing Board do a necropsy and, and say this or that happened, here's a $200 fine. What we really need right now is a criminal investigation. Unlike many sports, American horse racing has no universal governing body. But this week, the owners of Santa Anita, the Stronach Group, didn't wait to be told. They announced their own sweeping changes. These changes include a total ban of all medication on race day. Any change is hard, but the love of the horse supersedes all else. We know firsthand that owners, trainers, and jockeys love and care deeply for their horses. We, too, love the horses and we're making these changes to put the health and welfare of the horse and rider first. It remains unclear what caused the breakdowns at Santa Anita. Was it problems with the racing surface or were unsound horses being medicated so they could continue to run? Tonight there would appear to be nearly universal agreement among horse racing's critics that the banning of race day medications is a step in the right direction.